everyone, today we are going to paint golden fishes with acrylic and the gold leaf. We need the following materials and tools, white, indigo, turquoise and blue sky acrylic paints. Two synthetic brushes, the large and the small, paper napkins, a white pencil, the gold leaf in sheets and the gold leaf glue. First you need to make a background blue with blue sky streaks. This technique is called underpainting. Take a palette, move diagonally from dark to light. Take a dry brush. Apply the paint tightly with vertical and horizontal movements. If the paint is applied tightly, brush strokes won't be visible. Gradually add in other color shades, for example, the sky blue. It's very important to mix the colors to get a smooth gradient. Don't forget to work quickly, because the acrylic dries so quickly. There is no need to add water yet. Keep moving towards the lighter parts of the canvas, adding white paint more and more. The first coat of painting is done, but there may be some empty spaces throughout, so apply another one coat. Rinse the brush well and wring it out on a napkin. Repeat the same steps applying the next coat of painting.
The second coat of painting is done, so paint over the end of the canvas. Use any kind of framing, for example, paint in one tone or continue your gradient. So, the background is ready. Now you need to dry it well with a hair dryer at a distance of 15-20 cm from the canvas for about 3-4 minutes. Ok, our background is completely dry. Now you need to make texture strokes in the lower right corner for a more interesting background. Rinse and dry the brush again. Take white and turquoise paints and mix them on the palette. The resulting azure paint will be needed for the dry brush technique. Wipe off excess paint on the palette. Here's the back of the brush, not the front. Make several strokes in different direction with the brush plate, just lightly touching the canvas. You can change the colors of paint, to use darker shades somewhere or to use the lighter ones. The softer you press the brush, the more transparent and interesting your painting will be. So, the next step is to add decorative drops to the painting. 
You'll need to change water on the cup and to take small brush and new pellet. Drops can be multicolored if you want so, but now I use the white only. The paint is quite thick, so you need to mix it with water on the palette to a liquid state. To apply the drops of paint onto the canvas, Take the brush by the edge with one hand and lightly tap on the top of the brush with the other hand. In the end, you'll need to dry the painting with a hair dryer again. Gently run your hand over the canvas to check how dry it is. The paint should be matte. After the base has dried, you need to take a white pencil and sketch the fishes. Of course, you can draw the fishes right away with the glue, but I'll make the sketch. Draw the fishes in different sizes to make them appear more voluminous and lively. Try to draw them not so close to each other, but at different distances to add more if necessary. Take your time gradually adding more and more fishes. Well, I made rough sketch, but I don't like how the central fish looks, so I want to redo it. Since my pencil is pastel, it can be easily erased with a slightly damp napkin. Don't worry about the background paint, as it won't wash off. The sketch is ready. I decided to completely remove the central fish. Next, 
Let's start covering fishes with the gold leaf. Before applying the gold leaf, you need to use the gold leaf glue. Professional glue stays sticky for hours, so take your time. Paint with glue not only the fishes, but also the numerous drops. The glue should be applied in a thin layer, first squeezing the excess over the edge of the jar. Apply the glue gently and slowly. After applying glue to the sketch, leave the brush in the glue jar and put it away. But not for long, we may still need it later. Take a whole sheet of the gold leaf having previously washed and dried the brush, cause it will be needed to apply the gold leaf. Gently press the gold leaf to the canvas using the brush. Extra pieces of gold leaf can be torn off and applied to new areas. Press the gold leaf to the canvas again. Brush off the gold leaf carefully.
it's okay if there's some poorly coated areas. Take the glue and reapply it to the empty spaces. While the glue sets in the areas where I applied it, I will add a few drops of gold. To do this, you need to make the glue splashes in the same way as I did splashes with acrylic paint. Wait a little until the glue becomes transparent. The glue has become transparent, so it's time to glue the gold leaf. Take the pieces of the gold leaf and press them in the spaces where the glue is. In the end, brush any remaining gold leaf off. That's all, our work is ready. Like and subscribe to our channel in order to miss new episodes. All creative successes!